Hey everybody, this Sunday we are celebrating the Feast of Christ the King. And it is such a gift that Jesus is our King and he's always watching over us no matter what else might be might be going on. And what I find fascinating about Jesus being our King, and he's, he's the King for everyone, right? When there's leadership and it's great leadership, we're like, this is great. If there's leadership that we have that isn't going well, we don't get to like just say like, well, nope, that's not my leader. Like, no, like we have to work within that, right? And so Jesus is our leader. Even people who try to reject Jesus, he still is our king. Why do I bring this up? Because on the cross, when Jesus was on the cross, there were two other people that were crucified with him, two other criminals, and they were on his right and on his left. And one was mocking Jesus, just like making fun of him and just saying like, yeah, look at this. You can't even save yourself. And the other was saying like, no, this man did nothing. And he actually ends up saying, he's like, Lord, like, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Right? Jesus was the king for both of them. But one accepted it and one didn't. Jesus is our king. Jesus is your king and he loves you. The question is, Will you accept that and let him lead you to paradise? Or sometimes within leadership, right? I'm sure we all have sometimes where our parents tell us to do something because they're loving us and they want to take care of us. But we don't see that it's loving in the moment. We're like, gosh, they're just taking our fun away. And so we rebel and we push against that, right? That we say like, no, mom and dad, I don't want you to be leader. I want to be in charge. Jesus loves us. He always knows what's best for us. That's why he gives us his rules, his laws, right? The laws of the kingdom. He wants to lead us towards perfect happiness. He wants to give us peace and joy. And he has the power to make it happen. But we have to follow him. So, claim Christ as your king. Accept his rules. Because by doing so, we accept his love. And allow yourself to rejoice to be at peace within God's kingdom today and every day. God bless you.